this is Alex, the driving instructor from Sunshine Driving School. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to identify hazards, also known as hazard perception. So there is a portion of your road test where you need to identify hazards. Being a safe driver means you're able to properly identify anything that can be harmful to you or those around you. Hazard perception is the skill of pointing out these dangers. So on your class seven or your N road test, you are expected to pull over and park the car to identify the hazards. On your class five road test, the full license, you are expected to identify these hazards while you are driving. During your road test, your examiner will ask you to identify anywhere between 5 to 10 hazards on the road around you. Okay, so let's go over some examples. The following are examples and why they could be dangerous to you as a driver. Trees, they can obstruct your view. Bushes or shrubs, they can obstruct your view. Wooden fences, obstruct your view. Parked cars, they can also obstruct your view. As well, the parked cars, you can also mention the driver or passenger doors can swing open unexpectedly. Okay, uh, next list here, pedestrians, because they're unpredictable. The animals, they can be unpredictable. So dogs, cats, squirrels, crows, uh, etc. Animals can run onto the road. Cyclists, unpredictable. Uh, we can always talk about the weather. So if it's raining, you can say it's slippery and it affects your vision. If it's snowing, you say the same thing. It's slippery and affects your vision. If it's sunny, then you can say it blinds you or affects your vision. School zones, children can be present. Playground zones, children can be present. Construction zones, debris on the road, workers, and heavy machinery. Hills, the speed can change. So you can roll back if you're facing uphill and you can't see on the other side of the hill. If it's downhill, of course, you're picking up speed and that could be a hazard. Curves, you don't know what's coming around the corner. Driveways, cars can come out. Alleyways, cars can come out. Intersections, cars can come from anywhere. Road signs, there's a chance of you missing them. Road markings, there's a chance of you missing them. Uneven roads, for example, potholes or trees that grow roots uh, and makes the concrete uneven. Uh, speed bumps in playground zones and school zones and parking lots, for example. Uh, buses and bus stops. Be careful not to just sound like you've memorized this list. You are asked to look around you 360 degrees to identify these hazards. For example, what you actually see around you. Okay, that is enough of me talking. Let's see an example. Okay, let's make a right turn here. Signal, shoulder check, full stop, rolling out, quarter turn the steering wheel. 
looking left and right for cars. No cars. Second shoulder check and commit. Hand over hand steering. Okay, again approaching a two-way stop. First stop here for the law. Rolling up. Second stop for cars. No cars, we go. Okay, let's pull over here. Okay, nice signal, nice shoulder check. Okay, park the car. Okay, Alex, can you give me some hazards, please? Sure, I can list some hazards. Uh, we are in a playground zone. There's bushes and trees to obstruct my view. The wooden fences that obstruct my view. The alleyway cars can come out of. This parked vehicle that is in front of us. The doors can swing open. Uh, potential pedestrians, potential animals, potential cyclists. The intersection behind us. The speed bump ahead. If I haven't mentioned, the playground zone that we're in as well as the school zone that's coming up. Uh, the sun is a hazard. Potential oncoming vehicles is another one. That's all I have for hazards currently. Okay, that's good. Okay, so a reminder, on your Class 7 N road test, you are expected to pull over and park the car to identify the hazards. On your Class 5 road test, you are expected to identify these hazards while you are driving. Okay, that's it for now. Please subscribe, like this video, and comment below and let me know what you would like to see more from this channel. Thank you. Bye now.